This video shows the option for noise dose calculation in Noise at Work. The option for noise dose calculation is available in type B and type D configuration of Noise at Work. Next to the five default project bars, also the noise dose bar is available. With the option for noise dose, you can enter employees. Click on the button New and start locating the employee on all locations where he or she is working. For instance, close to the drilling machine, close to the compressor, close to the welding machine, and outside. So I've just entered an employee that is working on four locations. Noise at Work automatically calculates the interpolated noise level on all locations based on the measured noise levels. If I go to the measurement project bar, you see the measured sound pressure levels. If I also see that the measured sound pressure levels is 84 over here, 85, 86, 86, etc. If I go back to the noise dose tab page, you see that location 1, noise at work, has interpolated a sound pressure level of 89.64 based on the measured levels. It's quite close to the 90 dB measured sound pressure level. Okay, if you want to enter a second employee, you can click on the button new again, or you can use the right mouse button, new employee. This employee is working near to the bridge, near to the test unit, and outside, three locations. You can name your employees, employee 1 and employee 2. And Noise at Work will calculate the noise dose based on the time period per location. Let's say that this employee works two hours on all four locations. Noise at Work calculates the average sound pressure level, 86.4, and the noise dose, 83.8, based on the criterion level. In this case, the criterion level is 85. You can change it between 80 and 90. The average sound pressure level is higher than 85. It's 86.4, so the noise dose is higher than 100%. In this case, 138%. Next to the LEX calculation, which is mostly used in Europe, you can also choose for the time-weighted average calculation. In that case, you can also change the exchange rate. For the LEX, the exchange rate is per default set on 3, but for the time-weighted average, you can also select 4 or 5. An exchange rate of 5 means that when the average noise level goes up 5 dB, your noise dose will double. And with an exchange rate of 5 dB, your noise dose is 114%. Noise at work can also predict the effect of a hearing protection aid. Because position number one, location number one, the sound pressure level is the highest, let's see what the effect is of a hearing protection aid of 5 dB. In this case, the noise dose goes down to 91%. So if the employee wears hearing protection near to the drilling machine. The noise dose goes down to 91%. This concludes the presentation of the noise dose calculation option. Thank you for your attention.